So it is the 15th of March and they have painted the front door, hooray! And the roller door is down so it's all looking really nice. So it looks like he's either close to or has already finished all the painting as well, so that's nice. It is the 22nd of March and the dumpster is gone, so yeah, that's cool. And they have finished all of the brickwork under all of the windows. And I've got a tap as well, yeah. And it looks like the plumber has been and installed the taps. And they've actually cleaned the window as well. So yeah, it looks like the house is almost finished. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so that last clip you just saw of me peeking through the windows of the house, that would have been like a month ago. Today is the 18th of April. Um, don't be fooled, I've not moved in. Um, but a lot has happened. I've been way too busy, way too occupied, way too stressed to film anything. So... I'm basically just going to walk you through what is new, hence, you know, I have the keys now, it's mine, um, but yeah, it's been a wild few weeks, so I haven't had the opportunity to film it, but a lot has happened, um, there's still a lot more to go before I can move in, but yeah, it's been... It's been a it's been a trip, that's for sure. So yeah, um, I got the keys. It's mine, and now I have. So I spent yesterday, the seventeenth of April, here all day with tradies coming in and out, deliveries coming in and out. It was crazy from eight a.m. to six p.m. I was just bouncing around trying to like everyone wanting my attention because I'm the homeowner and they're here to do a job um but yeah so I received my Harvey Norman delivery um so that was um couch bed fridge washing machine all that sort of stuff um a few days ago my floors got installed um they didn't finish so we're still waiting for them to actually come back to finish the floors but 90% is done so that's it's it's livable I guess you could say um, my fence went up the other day but not the gate so I've got one side blocked off but not the other they've started um, landscaping outside out the back so I've got some sort of garden bed and I've got paving down one side we still need to do paving on the other side of course I'm still waiting on a driveway. Um, it's been just hard to coordinate all the people to come in. Um, I've had the electrician in and he's installed most of my lights. Um, I got mostly down lights throughout the house. Um, then, you know, I just got some standard lights in some not as important rooms. Um, and I got a fan in the bedroom, just things like that. I needed a electrician to come in and just do all of that sort of stuff, including my very expensive uh, dining room light. <laughs> Love that thing. It's best $700 ever. Like, best zero. I think all my lighting was from Beacon Lighting. So check Beacon out. Um, having trouble with getting the internet sorted and the TVs and all that sort of stuff. It's just not connecting. I can't seem to get it to work. 
So I also had the alarm guy come in and um, someone tinting a window as well. Like, there's just, you could name it all, really, you could. So I guess we can start here at the front door. This was the window that I had tinted, by the way, just because privacy. Um, so here in my front door, you can see, this is the only area that they haven't put the floors in, um, just this front entryway. So they claimed it was because um, they found some damaged planks and they didn't have enough to finish. Who knows what's true, but yeah. Anyway. Going into my room, I've got down lights and a fan and here is my bedroom suite all in boxes and a TV we tried to connect, obviously couldn't, but yeah, we've kind of blocked off these windows as well just because the shutters that I've had made for these are going to take a long time to make because I'm getting custom uh, window fittings for all my windows. So yeah, that's something to... That's kind of like a new feature. That's why they look better than all the other windows because these are going to be on here a lot longer. Uh, so yeah, into my walk-in wardrobe. Got my pesky little system up here for the alarm, the internet, Opticom, all that crap. Really didn't want this in my wardrobe because I wanted to fit out my wardrobe with, uh, you know, like a, a fit out one day, but that, that's kind of just ruined that for me because it was all supposed to go in, the, in a closet in the hallway. Yep, it happened in here. So, sucks to be me, right? So I've kind of just put my new um, clothes wrap, um, coat hangers in here and just a bunch of bedding stuff because it needs a home. And then here is my bathroom. Yes, we're still under construction in here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty stock standard bathroom in here. Yeah, got my toot. And I installed heat lights as well. Woo, great. So that is the master suite. So we continue down the hallway. Um, the alarm that they've installed. This is the garage. It is not, that is locked. So into the garage we go. It's a bit of a storage sort of situation at this point. But yeah, it's a garage. What else do you expect? We've got the hallway closet. Not much hanging out in there, just some Christmas stuff. The one light the electrician did not do. <laughs> Didn't really need it in there. But here we are at the um, second bedroom, which is going to be my beauty space. So pretty much there's my desk situation, ton of beauty products and boxes, not my makeup, just skincare, hair care, masks, crap like that. And one of the chairs, um, that's pretty much it's all in this room. I've just got a standard light fitting as well from Beacon Lighting. Nothing too interesting, just trying to block out people from looking in and yeah, it's it's coming along, I guess. <laughs> and here we have the, um, the lounge room in the middle of the house. Um, this chair is not, uh, it's not going to stay in here, but... I, we built it in here and now I'm scared it's not going to fit through the gap. Um, this shoe cabinet is going to go in that walk-in uh, as soon as you walk in the house. Um, just because it's really thin and we, when, you know, it's shut, you're not going to know that shoes are inside it. So, And here is one of the couches. I'm just keeping it in the plastic until last minute just because I don't want it to get any dustier than it already is. And here we have a shelf on its side. Um, got this one from Amart, and we have my parents' old TV on a temporary little um, table. Um, this is, I'm not going to keep this TV if my brother eventually wants it one day. It's his, but you know it's it's here because 
They didn't have anywhere to put it. I've got a spare room. Why not? So, yeah. And continuing down the hallway, we have the third bedroom. And it has become the dumping ground. So, yeah, this is the dumping ground. Um, basically, I feel like because I'm not going to be using this room for anything, I'm just going to dump everything in here and then um, as I, when I moved in and I need to unpack everything, the goal will be to empty this room. So, you know, I'll just work a couple boxes every night or something like that, whatever I feel like, and eventually this will be empty. But yeah, same as the other room, just mirrored. Yeah, um, it's the dumping ground. <laughs> And here we have the laundry. Pretty stock standard. I've shoved things in here, but you know, it's, is what it is. And my brand new um, washing machine. It's a fancy one that you can see through. Um, it makes some music as well when you turn it on. And it has a goodbye music too. I thought that was cute. So yeah, that is me laundry. And here we have the main bathroom. It is a three-way bathroom with a downlight and a very big vanity and mirror area and a linen closet. I've just got some towels and stuff in here. Um, don't really have bed for sheets to go in here yet, so, hello. Um, here we have the toilet, pretty stock standard toilet with a dome light. Yeah, it's, it's a toilet, <laughs> can't really say too much about it. And the main part of the bathroom. So yeah, um, got bath under the window. As you can see, it's pretty dusty. Um, but yeah, that's a lovely big bathtub. Can't wait to take a bath. These two marble tables are from Kmart. But they're not supposed to be in here. I'm just storing them in here for now. But I might have to return this one because. It looks like it's been broken and they've tried to glue it together. It's quite rough. Whereas this one has nothing wrong with it. So stay tuned for what I do about that. And I've got the double one in here and a big shower. So yeah. And I've got the heat lights in here as well. Perfect for winter. So yeah, that is my main bathroom. And to the end of the house, we have the main open plan living. So we've got family living area, dining room, and the kitchen. So I guess we could start with the kitchen. Um, splashed out for the marble countertops. Not real marble, of course, but the most I could afford anyway. Um, I've got brand new fridge, the Samsung fridge. Uh, it's... I'm not really used to the whole fridge on top, freezer on the bottom. I'm used to having the freezer on the top. So this is gonna be getting something to get used to. And yeah, got a microwave as well. And Sterling installed this the other day. Um, never had a gas one before. So again, something to learn and get used to. But yeah, um, I've no idea how to use that one either. <laughs> Um, yes, I've got some dishes and stuff, and I've got a dishwasher. Everything in this house is dirty, so yeah, don't mind that. And yeah, that is my little kitchen. And here we have the dining room. Um, this dining table and chairs and stuff, it's all from Ikea. And my very expensive light, of course. Is from Beacon Lighting. Um, I went for the silver instead of the black. I really love it. So yeah. Sorry, Crystal Conti, I stole your light. 
And yeah, I really like this as well. It actually extends to an eight seater if you want to. So yeah, flexibility. And yes, all of my windows have got covered in newspapers and boxes because we don't have a gate to fence place off yet. And yeah, here is the family room so far. Got an ottoman and then a bigger version of the couch in the other room. They had to take this one out of the plastic to get through the hallway. Um, but yeah, it's pretty comfy. Um, and again, another loaner TV from my grandparents. The only TV I purchased was the one that goes into my bedroom. So I've got that, um, got a DVD player and the um, telly cabinet is from Ikea as well. Some more newspaper. So yeah, this is my open plan living. It's going to look very different, don't you worry. This is kind of just like temporarily shoved in my house. But yeah, this is kind of what the place has been looking like so far lot has gone on so yeah I think I'm gonna wait until it's daylight before I show you anything outside just because it's it's not time right now and there's not really any point showing you anything outside so yeah see you tomorrow so let's go outside and it's very dirty out here but we've excavated back here so make it a bit bigger we could put in a garden bed and the fence is up here and we've put paving all the way down here um, and it's going to be on the other side eventually um, just a matter of days <laughs> so yeah I still need a gate there as well but yeah it's all coming along my little alfresco area hi guys so it is good friday and it's been a long day. We have accomplished a lot. Uh, me and my parents have been constantly building stuff here at the house. Mum's done a lot of cleaning as a big help. Um, the place is still looking clean. It's just, it's just never going to get clean at this point, at least until maybe the dust leaves. You know, we need some rain or something. But yeah, we put through, the, put together my bedroom suite. Um, and a desk and a set of drawers in my beauty room so yeah it's been it's been a day that's just that's for sure so yeah here is the little desk we have here um we built that one um and we also put together a set of alex drawers um i've got another set at home and that's the tabletop to go on top of it and here is the bedroom suite so we've got the bed the two side tables and the tall boy with the TV on top. So yeah, hopefully we get that sorted. So yeah, the room feels a lot bigger now. It's the biggest bed I've ever had. So it's really tall as well. So I might need to, you know, have some help getting up there. So today is the 16th of May. Yes, about a month has passed. I have been living here for a few weeks now um, and it's almost finished pretty much. Um, the front and backyards have been done. I'll insert some pictures now. And yeah, um, majority of the furniture's done. Um, I'm still unpacking. Like it's just, it's never ending. The two jobs, I just don't have, barely have time. I, get, I come home, I shower, I eat, I sleep. Like it's, I just don't have time. So I'm still unpacking. It's... It's been crazy. Um, the place is a mess. Um, but yeah, I feel like this will probably be the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a proper furnished house tour, um, please let me know in the comments down below. But I don't know how much long how long that'll be until that happens. Um, just because it's nowhere near finished. But once it is, if it's something you want to see. I will definitely do that and if you guys want some videos in terms of how I style each room I could do make that a series um, if that's what you want to see I only want to make content you guys want to watch but yeah um, let me know um, if there's any more house related videos you want to see or anything that I haven't sort of brought up in the video that you might want to see 
So yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one guys. See you later.